What's going on guys, Famous Last Words here. Uh, I'm taking a bit of a road trip right now uh, to see one of my friends. He's apparently going through a pretty hard time. Gonna deliver the magic of friendship to her, if you know what I mean. Me and uh, Rarity here. Uh, but I figure out uh, while I'm on the way there, because it's kind of a long drive, I'll go ahead and deliver some updates on some stories I'm writing and some future thingies, so I can at least be somewhat useful to y'all. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go get some gas and probably grab some food at McDonald's and then we'll get this thing started. Sound good? Alright, so here we are about to hit the uh, highway. Got myself hooked up with uh, some McDonald's fast food because, you know, I'm trying to eat healthy and whatnot. Anyway, here's the deal. I am taking kind of a new direction with uh, my writing, so to speak. Um, recently, I've primarily been known for writing uh, spike romances featuring him and background characters, and that's cool. I still like that. But I want to take it to like a new level. I'm tired of like the same old wash, rinse, repeat kind of. Whoa, that was scary. Okay, same old wash, rinse, repeat kind of thing with. Uh, all of the stories I write about him, where it seems like I'm kind of recycling the same kind of personalities and everything for all the characters, which is getting kind of tiresome, to be honest. I want to take it to a new level. I want to start writing stuff that's a little more, how you'd say, I guess, like, epic, that has a little more oomph to it, a little more powerful. Basically, I want to take it um, I want to start writing epic, adventurous stories as opposed to whatever I have been doing. Excuse me. Now, it's not to say I'm just going to give up on the stories I have been writing because I still like those. I still am going to write Heart Invasion 101. I have a new uh, chapter for that coming out um, either today or, or Friday, actually. Um, maybe even tomorrow if I get off work on time. I work like 12 hours. Uh, I'm still going to update. You know, it's all downhill from here. And uh, I still have plans for like, you know, a sequel to my Spike Bell stories and a couple other things. What the hell? Come on, guys. Look at this. Look at this crap that I have to deal with. Okay? See this traffic? I'm trying to freaking get across this lane and I'm just getting completely blocked by idiot people in traffic. Whatever. That's not the point. Anyway. But, like, as soon as possible, I'm going to start work on this really epic Sparity story idea. Motherfucker. That I've had for a while. Um... It's gonna be extreme. It's gonna be extremely epic. Thank you, sir. Um, it's gonna be long, and it's gonna really do things that I've never done before. That I've always kind of wanted to do, you know. Um, so I'm really excited about this. I'd like to know your guys' thoughts, though. Like, I know a lot of you like the stories I've been writing, and I like them too. But I feel like I'm just kind of. I have like a new kind of story that I want to tell now as opposed to what I've been writing and I just am losing interest in the stuff that I was writing you know like I hate to say this but even Heart and Vision 101 has been getting almost kind of boring for me to write recently just because it seems like I've been retreading the same kind of thing over and over again I want to do something new I want to do something more vast but uh because we'll just have to see how that goes. I actually asked for help from The Descendant, who's one of my favorite writers, as far as like Spike and stuff goes, and he actually emailed me back, or PM'd me back, and he's gonna be giving me tips here and there on how do I can do this. So I've got a couple other experienced epic story writers, like Cerulean Voice, jumping in to help me with like pre-reading and editing, because obviously I'm not gonna do this on my own. And I've also even got you know really awesome cover art people helping me out too. So, that's just kind of like what I wanted to tell you guys. Is I'm going to I'm going a new direction here pretty soon. Not sure when it'll be out. Um, preferably, preferably sooner than later. Sorry, I'm going like 80 miles per hour on the freeway right now, so things are getting kind of crazy. Probably sooner than later, but who knows? Um, in light of that, I've got like a pretty epic uh, Valentine's Day story coming out too. It's gonna be that fanfiction.mov story that I talked about a long time ago, where uh, Spike accidentally summons his .mov doppelganger counterpart, um, and upon seeing how basically lame and 
childish Spike is in this universe as opposed to the universe he's from, the Dot Moss bike seeks to assist Spike in becoming cooler, basically, and, it's, and tries to help him get hooked up with Rarity. Because as far as, you know, like, you know, beautiful characters go, she's top of the line. She's first class. Um, so that's going to be a really fun story. I'm, I'm entering that, and, like, that's actually going to be written for, like, three different things, though. One is going to be for the uh, Spike Appreciation Day thing coming up on 19th. On the 19th, where Quest Your Daily wants as much Spike fan work as possible. It's going to be for the Hearts and Hose Day shipping contest on EQD. And I'm also writing it for my competition with Soaring. See whoever gets the most upvotes on a Hearts and Hose Day themed story. So, Or on a love story for Hearts and Hose Day. Whatever. So that's going to be pretty awesome. Uh... Not, like I said, I'm not 100% sure when I'm going to be getting around to this, but it's going to be released by the 14th, I will tell you that much, which is like just a few days from now, so I'm going to get my ass in gear on that. Um, anyway, that's really all I can think of for now. Like I said, expect an update on Heart Invasion 101 coming soon. I'll have a lot more Spike and Rarity action, friendship stuff. But it's also got the first introduction into Flitter's character, who's going to be a relatively main character for the rest of the story. And it's going to be her first real introduction into this. And it'll be followed up quickly by a lot of more nonsense stuff unfolding with Thin Spike and Violent's relationship. Because for any of you who ever dated before, you know for a fact, like me, love is not easy. So I'm not going to write it as something easy that just happens, because it doesn't. I wish it did, but it doesn't. Anyway... Uh, as you can see, I'm driving down the freeway right now, and I'm dealing with, like, you know, going, like, 80 miles per hour and all kinds of fun stuff, so I probably shouldn't be, like, holding this camera and talking at the same time. It's kind of dangerous. So I'm going to head out, um, or I'm going to leave because i got about an hour drive in front of me, but if anything else comes to mind, I'll start recording again, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, see you around, guys. This is Famous signing out. Bye.